What is up you guys, it is Kimaisa45 here and in this video I'm here to show you guys how to manage the apps that start on boot on Android. Now some of you may be wondering why would you want to do this, well I'll give you guys a few reasons why this would be good. One, it can save you more battery when you're trying to reboot your Android device, like when you're trying to um, start it up again after turning it off. It can save you more battery life because if you're running less apps to start up on boot, it won't need to use up as much of your battery to start up all those apps. And it can also save you more time to, you know, for the whole booting process so you can get to your Android device right away after, you know, turning it off and turning it on again. It can help you out a lot. Like, if you want to get to it right away, this can help you a lot in many ways. Okay, so before you do this, you will need to make sure that your Android device is rooted. If you don't know how to do that, just go on Google and search how to root, space, the name of your Android device, space, the model number of your Android device. If you want to find out what model number your Android device is, go into your settings then scroll down to about tablet or about phone and whatever number you see under the word model number that's your model number like for me for example mine's is DTP3110 but but if the name of your Android device is your model number then you don't need to type this and then once you do that go ahead and find a guide that can help you and follow that guide very carefully because one rooting does void your warranty so keep that in mind and rooting can break your android device which means it can damage it internally so in case it does i am not responsible for any of the damage that will happen to your android device and then once you finish the guide that you followed and you're rooted and you have super su or super user installed then you can go ahead and go to the next step before we start the procedure okay so also before you do this you will also need to make sure that you have an app called exposed installer installed on your android device if you don't already have this app you're first going to need one a browser that will let you download files off the internet like for example i'm using both browser for tablet here but you can use whatever you want and You'll also need a file manager that will let you install APK files. Like for me, for example, I'm using ES File Explorer. Then once you do that, and you make sure you got those two, you will need to make sure that unknown sources is checked. To do that, for some Android devices, it's in your settings, then in security. And then you might see an option there that says unknown sources. Just make sure it's checked. Now depending on your Android device, that may vary for you, so make sure you check on Google on how to check unknown sources for your specific Android device. Then once you make sure it's checked, go in and open the download link that I left in the video description below and open it in any mobile browser that you are using. Then once you've opened it up, you should get a page that looks like this. Once you get to this page, tap the green download icon here and follow whatever prompts your browser gives you to download that that file and wait for it to finish downloading then once it finishes downloading go into any file manager that you are using and then once it's open and loaded up go to wherever you downloaded that apk file then tap install then, then tap the apk file itself then tap install, wait for it to finish installing, then once it finished installing, tap open. And during the first time you open it up, you might need to update your framework. To do that, tap framework at the top, then tap install slash update, and then tap OK for it to reboot your Android device. Then once it finishes rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen, go ahead and unlock it, then go back into this app, then tap download. And then tap the search icon at the top, then type in boot. Okay, well, if nothing pops up here like it does for me, just tap reload here. 
Yeah, I just tap reload. Then tap the search icon at the top. Then type in boot manager. That's one word. Then tap it. Then swipe left. And then download the latest version of the module itself. As of the date of this video, it's 2.0.7. Then once you do that, go ahead and tap download. Wait for it to finish downloading. Then tap install and wait for it to finish installing. Then one then tap done and then once you're back up at this page tap download at the top then tap modules and then make sure that the module called boot manager is checked here then once you make sure it's checked reboot your android device again by pressing and holding on the power button then tapping reboot and then tapping ok and then once it finishes rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen go ahead and unlock it then go into your app drawer and find the app that's called boot manager and then wait for it to load all your apps up and then once you're up at this screen you will get a list of the apps that you see that will start up on your that will start up on boot when you're you know when you're rebooting your android device just tap the ones that you don't want for them to install once you tap one of them it will be colored red just like this and then from there once you've tapped all the apps that you don't want to start up at boot from there that's it and then once you've done all that you can you can also edit your settings and tweak it to whatever you want you can enable fast boot if you want you can hide this icon of the app from your launcher you can make it vibrate on touch you can start up logging and then once you've edited all this and you edit it all together you should see a significant you should see a significant time decrease when booting up and it's your android device should boot faster now that now that it doesn't need to boot up all those apps at once and from there guys that's it that's how to manage the apps that start on boot on android now if you guys like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out and if you have any suggestions on what i should do next or if you have any problems with this whatsoever feel free to let me know in the comment section below and while you're at it feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel because i got tons of more content coming your way and thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demise45 signing off.